Hey guys, Skippy here again, coming at you with some exciting stuff here. As you can see in front of me, this beautiful, beautiful landscape. Uh, it is uh, boundless. I have been wanting to show you guys this game for so, so long. Uh, it's been in development. Uh, what is, uh, I'll give you a little bit of a history of the game here. Look at that beautiful moon. Uh, to give you oh, look at that reflection in the oh I'm gonna go on and on about how beautiful this game is in the bit here, uh, but uh, I've been talking to you guys about this game. I first found this game uh, a few years ago. It used to be called Art O O R T, and then uh, what happened was Sony found out about this game, and then Sony was like, you know what, we want in on this. Uh, so what Sony did was they bought, I believe they bought the rights for the game is what you call it. Uh, I stand corrected if not. Uh, but this guys, this game is everything in my opinion uh, that Minecraft is not on console. Uh, what you see here on the screen is the developer access. I have, uh, I've gotten my hands on the developer uh, portion of the game. And uh, they started introducing content. And what's been happening for the last, oh, what, six, seven months is they've been redeveloping the game into C++. Uh, so that you on the PS4 can also play with people on the PC. So this, guys, is a cross-platform game. And on release, this is also going to be dedicated servers, uh, so you will not have to host on your on your console at all or on your PC. So there is no worrying about anything like that. Uh, the amount of players is going to be insane because every world can be connected to anyone else's world. Yeah, just wrap your mind around that, how big that's going to be. Uh, you can host your own world. Uh, it has the robust world editor, editor uh, where you can actually make your own landscape and then open up your own server and uh, it's it's ungrievable you can tell you know you can tell them I only want these persons to be able to have access to my server or you know they can people can come to my place but they can't uh, do anything they can't damage any blocks remove anything they can run around um, which used to be a problem on Minecraft if you wanted to do that because if someone fell in a hole they couldn't get out uh, but in this game what you have is you have grapple hooks so you can actually fly around the map using grapples it's super super cool uh, so I've been dying to do a let's play on this series uh, and uh, I've been waiting for them to start adding content to it and finally they promised us you know we're gonna be adding content weekly to it uh, they've added storage the storage in the game is absolutely insane way better than Minecraft um, it's actually like storage shelves and you can see what you put on the storage uh, now if you look in the water here like the reflection is amazing just uh, the level of detail they've put into this game is absolutely wild um, when you're building something you can actually see it live time in the reflection of the water that's that's how intuitive this game is and it's beautiful guys what you see here on my screen is what you'll see on PS4. They said the, the PC matches PS4 uh, both in quality and how well it works. Uh, now I'm out in the middle of the night here as you guys can probably hear if you have cr crickets in the background. Uh, now there's a lot of stuff here that's changed since I last played it. Like these uh, these light things here. If I uh, touch the ground with a light it'll actually light up the area for a few moments for me. That's, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, you have dual wielding like this is obviously just a stick tool. Um, I can make tools uh, they they change the layout of this a little bit this is a little bit different as you could tell like they don't have some textures in for like the beacons and and like oh exotic leaves have a texture now that's pretty cool uh, but some of the stuff is mixing missing textures but uh, this will change um, what you see for the layout for for crafting and whatnot that's definitely going to change uh, what we're gonna do since it's nighttime is we're actually gonna go to the capital city and uh, check that out uh, let's see what the capital city looks like. I've never been to the capital here. I don't even know if they have one installed on this map. Uh, how do I get out of this? <laughs> Return to game. Okay, cool. Uh, yes, tab. That's right. It's been a while since I've used the controls in this game. Okay, we're out. Okay, cool, cool. So there's not really much of a capital. I don't think they put this in because this is like straight up legitimately the test server. Uh, so there actually is no capital city to show you. But the capital cities on the regular servers and on test servers are amazingly beautiful. Uh, if you guys haven't done yet, go to playboundless.com. They put one of these in? No. My God. This, guys, is one of my favorite features about this game. I cannot wait to show you this. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm going to continue talking here. 
Oh my goodness, there's so much to show you guys. Like, I am completely pumped about this game. Uh, now, this Let's Play episode is going to probably be a little bit short because I haven't had enough time to play around with the game and see the new stuff. Like, they've added in ores, um, they've added in materials to build for machines. I haven't even seen machines yet. They're adding machines in, though, that's for sure. Uh, but normally there'd be a huge city right here, but I think on the test server they didn't bother putting it in. Uh, but what you can see is actually, if you look around, like I look, there's Xander's Beacon, Predatoxic's Beacon, Havoc 40K's Beacon. Uh, these are all people I actually recognize off the forums. Um, they're all very active people, and what this does is um, it actually protects a small little area. Like if I go in this area here, um, I'm sorry Havoc if you're watching this, but uh, I shouldn't be able to damage his stuff. Yeah, there you go. See, it's red. I can't do anything to it. I'm I, I'm doing no harm to his stuff. Um, they've added in a bunch of things, like these little lights here. Uh, they're gorgeous. Uh, is this a table? Is this a cr crafting table? Safe? Oh my goodness. I have so much catching up to do with this game, guys. Like this, I am so pumped about this, because before, it was just basically, here's some blocks and you can build with them, right? Which was cool, because you could build some cool looking shit. Uh, but now that they got this stuff in here, this is absolutely gorgeous, guys. And please, guys, you know, like this video, keep watching this series, because this is coming to PS4, and this is going to be the um, changing. Uh, because I do play a lot of 7 Days to Die, guys, and uh, every stream, every video I put out, I get at least one comment where someone's like, So this basically Minecraft with zombies? No, not at all. It's a voxelized game, guys. This is a lot like Minecraft but with a great shader on it and they're doing what Minecraft should have done a long time ago and right on release they're doing dedicated servers and everything so this is going to be a good game changer for you voxelized game uh, lovers as well especially for those who love Minecraft um, if you're tired of dicking around with like griefers you know trying to find friends to play with um, in this game that is not going to be a problem you can create guilds there's going to be skills there's going to be so much depth to this game it's not even funny I can go on for hours about the potential of this game it's it's absolutely amazing uh but yeah this is havoc's place here uh what is this thing here uh that's a totem uh that's his beacon what is all this stuff i'm gonna have to take a look like that's another crafting table i think like look at all this look at all this stuff they had none of this was in last time i played this i really wanted to do a let's play on it but it was incredibly dry because there wasn't too too much uh, content i'm gonna go around here and actually see if anyone's built anything substantial yet on the test server uh like we have this guy up here who's made a nice little little building up there uh that looks pretty cool uh what's this over here tropical drake let's go check out his stuff and as you can tell too like the ground fodder is awesome like look at the grass just the way it looks um the textures have changed a lot um on the on the dev um so it's kind of interesting to see the texture changes yeah for sure um even like this type of ground here i don't even know what i'm looking at with this i, I do not know what this is i've never seen it before uh, i'm gonna have to do so so much reading up on this to catch up uh but let's go up to this place here this actually kind of looks like it might be interesting cool oh and look at the torches guys like look what the, look what the torches look like isn't that such a cool little animation uh like it's 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 fantastic guys i'm loving seeing like voxelized games like this coming to console for you uh, because that's one thing consoles always lacked was a good voxelized gameplay and the great thing too about dedicated servers you don't have a game save on your own uh, like console so you'll never have to worry about corrupted game saves or having to back up your games that is my biggest pet peeve with console and game saves is how much they corrupt um, i love console guys don't get me wrong i'm a console and a pc player both have their place in my gaming life uh, but that's my one biggest thing is console is always constantly having to back up my game saves it's absolutely frustrating uh, but let's go hungry fat guys beacon <laughs> that's awesome wow it looks like a couple of people are actually building up in here what these guys got going on i want to see if anyone's got the storage out i want to see what the storage looks like uh, because the storage is different it's not in uh, like a chest you open it's actually like open shelves and you can place items on them and i am so pumped to see that like i want to see what it looks like look at this guy's place here like isn't this absolutely gorgeous guys like this is just and this is still early dev like they're, they're just starting to add content in do all the textures like Oh, I'm, I'm just getting chills looking at this. Like, the, the potential of it is absolutely amazing. And the great thing about this game, too, guys, it's a community-based game. When you play, you'll actually get your own set of skills that you'll follow down the line to become, like... 
uh, let's say you want to become a trader, you want to become a builder, you want to become uh, a clothing expert. Um, they have all those things. Those are all coming, like the whole RPG gameplay of it. And you'll be able to trade with other people. Different races will have different abilities. Like there's just, oh, like I'm just... I have no words for this game. I know I'm like totally fanboying over this, but this game, guys, is a 100% sleeper. You guys have no idea. This game is going to hit console and blow you guys completely out of the water. Um, and I like it too because, you know, I love Seven Days to Die, uh, but this game is completely different from Seven Days to Die. This is all a community building. It's more concentrated on building than anything else. Um, I don't see any storage so far, so I'm going to have to definitely check into that because I see pictures of it, and I'm pretty sure they said it was available on the dev consoles so um, I'll have to look into it maybe no one's built it yet I don't know but yeah isn't this just like oh this is just so gorgeous I it, oh I love it I love how this person did their place too they even threw leaves in to give it like a natural look on the inside uh, you have angled blocks um, there's stuff called uh, you can carve blocks into different shapes um, it's it's amazing guys like there's so much here um, I'm definitely gonna be building something near the uh, the capital city area here I'm definitely gonna be doing that putting down a beacon and making something along here too and maybe at some point guys we'll actually run into somebody playing that would be super cool I would, I would definitely be into that and check out their stuff and, and see what not. Um, if you guys, uh, now I know a lot of you on PC are going to be like, you know, um, is it worth it buying this game? Um, at this point, guys, it is not. It still lacks a little bit in content and, and all the rest of the stuff they've promised to add in. Um, if you guys are pumped about a game that's going to change the voxelized world, especially on console, especially with the crossplay, then yes, please go support them, guys. It's like I bought in on early access. It's not even really early access. It's more of a Kickstarter than anything else. So I bought in on the Kickstarter part of it, right? Uh, but oh my goodness, I just I love the colors just the colors and oh Like I just I can't even I can't even fathom how far this game is gonna go. This is such a cool block What is this? It looks like a little diamond block. I like that. That looks super cool. Does it go all the way around? Oh, it does too, okay like, look at the reflections on the blocks, even. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, and this game, guys, now that it's coded in C++, runs a shitload better. Like, look at that view distance. Look how far I can see. Like, just, just look at that. Look at that mountain over there. Like, it's just... Oh, it's so amazing. I'm giving myself the shivers here, guys, just talking about this. Like... There's so much up and coming for you guys for Foxalize games. This is why I'm so excited to bring a lot of you to my channel and open you guys up to these type of games because not a lot of people, uh, a lot of content creators guys only do uh, popular games for short periods of time while they're popular. I promise you I will never do that, especially with like my playthroughs like... Um uh, like my fortress craft. I, I freaking love that game. It is the best technical game out there in my opinion It's like factory on crack. Yeah, it's fantastic. Like look at that cave over there. Isn't that beautiful? Um, but I, I will never stop making those episodes because I love video editing um, I love voxelized games and you know what? I don't care if I get a hundred views on it or a hundred thousand views, right? Uh, the hundred people that viewed the video are far more going to appreciate the game than a hundred thousand people viewing the video uh, just because it's a popular popular game, right? So, oh my goodness, like these trees, these leaves, they've, they've changed the leaves too. I really like what they did with them. That just, oh, it looks gorgeous. Like, I, I don't even know what this stuff is. Like, what is this? Looks like someone might have a beacon over here. It's all protected. Okay. Uh, wow. Wow. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to lay down a beacon and stuff and, and start building something of my own, uh, contribute on the uh, test server. I kind of want to look over here. Like, look at the valleys and everything and the different landscapes. And uh, I'm definitely going to get the world editor, I think, guys, and make my own server for when this comes out and then invite all of you to come play with me and we'll create an insane community. Like, it's just beautiful. Oh, my God. I almost missed the best thing about this game, guys. Almost missed the best thing. Okay. I, I know it's only like a 15-minute episode so far because um, I don't really want to get into it too, too much until I catch up with the game and, like, learn what's going on. I'm going to try to do one or two episodes a week. Hopefully, they keep updating the content so I can show you more and more and more. Uh, but, yeah, I want to show you guys the number one thing that makes me completely excited about this game. Uh, we have to head back towards the, uh, the middle of the hub here. Uh, past uh, whose place is this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look because I'm gonna go on the forums and be like, hey, old man, check out this video. <laughs> You're in it. Uh, Tropical Drakes. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll definitely have to check that out. 
Uh, but once again, guys, like if you want to check out the game, if you want to check out the trailer of what this game is going to be look look like in the end, uh, what they're aiming for, go go to playboundless.com. Uh, check out their their little video on there uh, of what they want to do. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, but this thing, guys, the portal, this will blow your mind. All right. So right now we are on a world. Okay. Like this is a whole map. Uh, it's a secluded map by itself. Like uh, let's say this was my server. Um, you can come onto my server and place down your beacons and you know I would give you permissions and whatnot and uh, you can build and uh, you can build past your beacons as well too but you know you can't promise someone else is not going to grief it uh, but you can put multiple beacons out you're not just stuck to one beacon you can expand your beacons of course oh what's over here this person made like a little underground thing I'm going to go check that out this is just oh I love this this is so amazing like this the, oh you can lock doors now Wow, you couldn't do that before. The door is locked. That is sick. That is awesome. I love that. Like, oh, that's so cool. Okay, okay. Let's go check out that beacon. I keep talking about it and walking away from it. Okay, so we're in a world right now, okay? And if we look through this beacon, as you can see, there's something completely different on the other side of it, right? Like, like look at that. Completely, completely different. If we walk through it, look at that, guys. Whoops. I <laughs> went through the beacon again. Okay, let's go back through it here. Like, look at this. I'm going to go a little bit away from it. We're in a completely different world. This is a different world on a different server, and it was seamless. I, I went... Wow, like, look at this. Like, the, the amount of different worlds you can make and the mashing together of different stuff you can do is just endless. Absolutely endless. Like, look at that structure over there. I don't even know what that is. Like, oh, the, the, the floating mountains and stuff. Like, oh my goodness. The, the, uh, the possibilities for this game, guys, is just mind-boggling. Uh, so let's go back over here. Uh, but yeah, look at this, guys. I'm going from server to... S oh, I, I, I done fell in a hole. Uh-oh. Uh, let's try to bust our way out of here. Can I, can I, can I bust this? Hmm, doesn't appear like I can bust this. Uh, oh, when I was telling you guys about, uh, oh yeah, there's third person too. You can actually pump yourself out to third person. Uh, can I get out of here? Oh no, it looks like I'm stuck. I don't have anything made either. Let's see if I have any, uh, uh, beacon plotter. Okay, I can throw these things down here. I think the button is Q. Uh, yeah, I'm a little awkward in the menu still. I have to get, oh wow, this menu's completely changed as well too. Uh, beacon plotter. Okay, how do I add items to it? Okay, I don't know what to do here. I'm kind of at a loss. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to get myself out of here, guys. I'm going to have to figure this out. But, oh, look at that. There's my eyes. <laughs> that looks completely funny. Uh, I'm going to go back to first, sorry, third person view here. But anyways, guys, that's me. That's what we look like. Um, I, I eventually, they're going to be adding, I think, a character editor too, in different races and everything. But this right now is the the default character. <laughs> he looks so goofy looking. Oh, that's awesome. But yeah, guys, you've seen that, right? Like how I went through the portal and it's literally from one server to the other and it's instantaneous. Um, that's what this is going to be about. You can link your server to another person's server for easy trading and getting back and forth. Like it's just going to be mind boggling to see the communities that pop up in this game. Like, absolutely insane. Um, if, and you know what, guys? It, it, depending on how far this game goes, I actually might become a, a, a big founder and have an official server of my own. Um, you can actually buy in at those levels. But yeah, guys, like this is just absolutely gorgeous. I know this is a shorter episode. It's 20 minutes long. Uh, but next episode... We'll actually start building some stuff and checking out the abilities and uh, hopefully by that time I'll be a little more well versed again because like the menus and everything have changed greatly. They're completely different than I'm used to. Uh, but once again guys, stay surviving, stay classy and if you're totally excited about this like I am, definitely hit that like button. Share this. You guys need to share this. You need to tell people about this. We, I want to get people pumped up about this. It's absolutely amazing. And as always guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Don't
Tell me no.